reason I did this video is because I've seen people online saying that, you know, that this per, this fragrance smells really good and, and the cloned version of it smells really accurate. And my conclusion is that- Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today I got a quick video of a clone of Reflection Man. And this one is called Shiaka Kotlach. And hopefully I'm saying that right. The uh, top notes are petite grain, rosemary, and pink pepper. And if you want to continue to read back there, uh, the, the, the mid notes are yang, yang lang, yang lang, neroli, orris root, jasmine, and then the base notes are cedar, vitivet, patchouli, and sandalwood. So if you were to look up in, in Fragantica, the, the, the profile, the scent of homage reflection is going to be kind of the same. It's more of the floral, uh, woody side with some fruit in there. So, um, I bought this on Fragrance Buy from, Can uh, from Canada because I couldn't find it anywhere. That was uh, at a relatively uh, cheap price or a good price. Um, here it is. Um, and it comes in this, ba in this box. It came in this box and um, it looks like this. So you're, so you're probably wondering, um, how did you know, or, or how, you, how are you gonna test it against um, homage? Well, Scentbird, um, they, they have samples, um, testers, kind of, and they sell them separate. You don't have to do their monthly plan. And um, they come in a 1.5 uh, mil bottle like this. This is how big it is. If you can see that right there. Um, I've already sprayed this hand with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. And um, yes, right off the bat, you can smell the floral, the woodiness is, and the powder-ish. Now, I don't wanna compare this to uh, to female, but it does kinda, it smells good, but it, re it reminds me of uh, that powder that your grandma, like your grandmother like wears, because it smells like that, but it's not bad. And here we got the uh, Shiyaka. And it's, it's, I don't know how they do it, but it smells really close. I would say close to 98, 99% the same. And the reason I don't give it 100% like some of the reviewers is because when you get close to it, um, the Shiyaka Kadlaj smells more alcoholish, like more 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 darker whereas homage reflection smells more fruity more sweet this um, clone smells a little bit darker but overall i think for the price difference i think i paid like 30 dollars for or 35 dollars for the shiaka and it, it is 100 mils it is the edp compared to uh, reflection man um, where i'm looking at here it says that yoma shop has I think maybe a tester for $9.99. Uh, Twisted Lady has one from six, goes from six to $360. And uh, there, it, it kind of varies, but like the highest you could see is 360 and maybe 240. Whereas you could get something that smells relatively the same, which is this. And the, and you know, the price difference is, is huge, right? So, I mean, one, I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I'm actually, I paid for all this out of my own money. Um, the reason I did this video is because I've seen people online saying that, you know, that this per, this fragrance smells really good and, and the clone version of it smells really accurate. And my conclusion is that it does. It does smell really close. Um, I think it's worth, it's worth buying the clone than it is worth buying the actual original fragrance because of the price difference. But I also say this, um, I've bought different clones in the past where some people say they smell really good and to me they don't smell really good. So you might have um, you might have that experience where you buy a clone and it doesn't smell what you thought it was gonna smell like. So always have that in mind, you know, where the, the actual original ones always have that authenticity that it's gonna smell the same. Whereas if you buy a clone, you the clone, it doesn't smell as what you expected. That's what I'm trying to say. So. That's it for the video. I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I do have a Scentbird subscription and 
so far I'm, I haven't had really that bad of an experience with Scentbird but um, I think for the price it's okay if you're doing like one or two but like every month paying that that amount of money doesn't make sense to me so anyways um, hit me up in the comment section if you really like this video I'm just trying to make it really quick that way you don't have to listen to anything crazy if you like the video please leave a thumbs up if you don't like the video please leave your comment down below regardless if you don't like it or not that way i know um, how to make the video more interesting in the future thanks for watching and see you later